guys, uh, Aaron White here with White Stock and Produce. Um, got a little issue naturally on uh, one of the coldest days that we've had thus far this year. Um, <clears throat> just like I mentioned in one of my videos prior, uh, usually the, the one time of year that the, the water, that have issues with water is usually on the coldest day of the year. It just makes sense. So um, right now the cows aren't getting any water. I just ran over to, to double check on them. It's uh, right now four degrees outside uh, with the wind chill at negative 17. Um, I gotta try and figure out what's going on. I turned on the, the valve to kind of see if some, some uh, 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 water was coming out. No water came out. So I don't know if it's backed up with sludge because uh, this particular uh, uh, um, water that I water the cows with uh, actually gets its water from a, a pond. So I'm actually uh, in the shop here. Um, Got to grab some essentials. I don't have any waterproof gloves, so uh, I'm going to grab some of these. Uh, wear underneath my um, my leather gloves. Uh, hopefully, uh, kind of keep my hands uh, dry so that I'll still be able to move them here uh, once I get going. So anyway, I'm going to head over there, uh, try and get this fixed. Hopefully, uh, I keep my fingers on and they don't freeze off. All right, so we'll head over there and get working. So Hutch and I got here, uh, the cows, they're pretty thirsty. I'm just getting on my, my rubber gloves to go up underneath my, uh, my leather gloves. Hutch doesn't look too excited, neither do I, but it's just something uh, that kind of comes with the territory. Uh, issues always popping up. And so I'm gonna try and get their, their water, uh, water handled and hopefully, get themselves uh, a good drink so so one of the the first things I got to do is uh, shut off the electricity just in case uh, the water leaks onto it don't want to get a little zap so I'm going into the old milk barn here gonna shut off the electricity here to the, the water Hopefully it's off. Coming up to the water, man. That is one of the most annoying moves I've ever heard. Anyway, so here's the water empty. That's not good. So take that out. You can see that old valve in there. So I'm gonna dig in and see what I can find. So I've been out here for, I don't know, about 10 minutes. I got that new valve in. I got it all put back together. Um, turned the valve back on, it's not working. So next step, well, this is entirely over my pay grade. So, um, hey, there's Jojo. Meanwhile, I'm, I'm noticing that the cows are, um, that are out there, you can see them out there. Uh, they're kind of grazing the hay, the bale grazing, but they're coming up from the pond that Jojo was stuck on. So I'm wondering if they got a hole busted in uh, in there and I'm gonna go see if I need to bust any more in and, and give them uh, a place to drink. Uh, you know, they take their turns. You know, the, the first one in the, the highest pecking order, the matriarch, She'll go down, she'll take a drink, she'll come back to go eat, and then the next group, and they just keep alternating, which actually keeps the watering hole open. 
Well, in the process of me trying to problem solve, I'm sitting here and I'm like, all right, what am I gonna do? How am I gonna do this? And all of a sudden it dawned on me. So I don't know if you can, there's a hydrant. Oh, there it is. That hydrant right there is actually connected to the same pond. So I'm gonna actually got, try and turn on that hydrant. And if that hydrant allows water to go through, it works, then there's something with that water. Now, if that doesn't work, more than likely it's down there at the pump. Ooh, look at that, nice. By the way, I've had this Carhartt since I was like in seventh or eighth grade. Love it. Built like a, like a rock. I mean, this thing's gonna last forever. Let's go check this out. Oh, gotta unlock the door. So this old hydrant right here, we're gonna try and turn it on. It's so cold, my, uh, my gloves are sticking. They need some water. Dry. That tells me that more than likely it's the pump down by the pond. So I'm gonna head down there and check it out. It really isn't something I really wanna be doing on a negative 17 degree wind chill day. I'm out here, I'm running into a little issue. I don't know where it's at. I can't find it. Don't know. I think it's over here. Oh man, this isn't good. Mother nature. Definitely has different plans for me today. Okay. What in the world? I can't, I can't find it. You gotta like walk around and feel with your foot. If it wasn't so cold, it'd be a beautiful day out today. Hutch, where's it at? Look at him. He's like, what in the world are you doing? Where's it at? Yeah, come on, come on. Well, I can't seem to, to find it. I've been stomping around through the snow. Um, one of those things, it's like you look at it every day and then you have to find it and you can't find it. It doesn't help that there's six inches of snow on top of it, but Anyway, I went on Google Maps hoping that I could zoom in and, and look and, and kind of see if if I could see it and kind of get a general idea where it'd be at. Nope, can't do it because Google Maps is in the summer. So tree cover, can't see anything. So I'm like, oh, I'll go on to the assessor's webpage and look at it there. Went on there, can't find it. I have no idea where this is at. You know, it's ridiculous. I might be standing on it right now. I got a lot to do do today and of course it's my niece's birthday party today so at four o'clock it's probably two o'clock right now well just as i uh, suspected they got a man my face is so cold right now anyway they got a little hole in the the water there they're kind of taking turns at it um i don't know how good the hole is so they're all kind of wandering back out to the field, so always something. There's always something. I mean, it's not much, but they're getting some water. So I'm gonna have to go get an ax, or I got my, uh, my ice auger. I could probably drill a couple holes here get them the water that they need but oh man one thing after the other so lunch today oreo three of them i got a water tank over here for the steers and the 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 bowls it's almost full got it in there you can see the white bucket there 
that white bucket's got a little heater in there so it'll stop it from freezing so now i gotta go down to the pond cut a little hole in the pond i just got done doing chores ended up driving the tractor down here to the pond so i can uh kind of cut some holes um i was originally gonna use uh, my auger my ice fishing auger but i decided that i'm gonna use something a little different a little electric chainsaw we'll see how this sucker cuts through the the ice and get them what they need uh, still got some work to do and party starts in 30 minutes and i still got to drive there another 30 minutes so <sighs> always on the days when you need, you know, when you got something planned, this is when it happens. and then uh, head to Chuck E. Cheese. Oh boy, it's gonna be fun. Anyway, as long as cows, they got food and water, uh, you know, I don't, really don't worry about them during the winter time, so it's really important that they get that water. You know, I was sitting there cutting those holes with that chainsaw, and I was like, why in the world do I even have an ice auger? That chainsaw was sweet. That thing can do some work. Anyway, well, Stay warm. Until next time, happy farming.